Welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, oh, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And we rise now for the English national anthem. That was impressive. Match that. watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well on the face of it peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest the way who do you Jim see making the difference here yeah Leonardo Bonucci he's as imposing as they come Peter and he knows just how to use his his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers he's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball so don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter attacks for his team today he's gone for it Early chance there, first of the game. England are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Hoists it forward. Has he found his man? And here's Insignia. Lovely bit of skill. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. How about a shot? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And the finish! Deli Alley. Stones goes looking. Oh, no, starting the game at a pretty decent tempo. Lovely feet. And it's Sterling. Sterling gets it back. Benucci. They are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Bernadeschi needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can re. Insignia! And that's a throw in.
Barkley. Rashford. Save, he got a decent fi goes for goal. Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Barkley put absolutely everything he had into that. Maybe better look next time. And it's played forward. Insignia gets into a dangerous position. Maguire. Plenty of endeavour from either side, but not much of it in the vicinity of either goal. Well, they could have had a bit more joy earlier if they'd varied their game and, and played a longer ball forward. I think this is looking much more promising now. Barkley. Kyle Walker. Plays it over to the other flank. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. One way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, he just had too many touches and he was asking for it to be pinched off him. Insigne with the crossfield ball. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Rashford. Insigne battles to win it back. And it's Insigne. Forward it goes. Oh, real danger here. So who's he picking out? And that's a goal kick. Barkley. Deli Alley. Sterling. And it's Chilwell. Barkley. He's there to receive it. Real chance! and very necessary. Barkley. Kyle Walker. A really good feat. Rashford. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Hey, reviews on the first half. Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And the game has already resumed here. England can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose. They can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Marco Verratti. Bonucci drives it forward. Rice did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. And here's Rashford. He's left his man. Sterling, Rashford, Donnarumma can claim that. 
Bernardeschi. Italy going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Berati plays it forward. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. It's Kane! It's there! And that is stunning, just too hot to handle. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. England take the lead, 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. Bonucci tries to get it forward quickly. Beratowski. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And it's Kane. Rashford! A real chance and a real let-off. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Kyle Walker. Rashford. And here's Kane. Rashford. Back into the middle. Has a pop! Oh, that is rather wayward. Jorginho. And it's played forward. Tries to locate someone up front. It's Immobile! Too close for comfort. Stones tries to switch the play. Deli Alley. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Now it's Immobile. Berateski. Italy have it back and they can go again. Insignia! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Italy really are in the ascendancy here and they know they have to register while that's the case. Rice can get it clear. 
Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. So here comes the substitution. Keeper sends it forward. Italy are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Bonucci plays it forward. Chilwell cuts it out. Deli Alley. Forward it goes. Sterling. This could fall anywhere. Turns and goes back. Beautifully done. Has a pop! England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Marco Verratti hoists it forward. It's gone for a throw in. And it's Jorginho. It's come loose. Into the last five minutes. England just have to run down the clock. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And here's Rashford. Jorginho. Lorenzo Insigne. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or a sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. He's in space and looking for options. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. England win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Yeah, it was...